Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. We talking about your boy Omi and a Hellcat. He got his sentencing today, right? So let's go through it. You know, Omi and a Hellcat, uh, he was a YouTuber. Um, and he had, you know, entrepreneur. And, you know, he was really getting to the bag. You know what I'm saying? He had, like um assortment up to 20 cars a big mansion you know he was really living that lifestyle right and today he was sentenced right um you know a while back we saw footage of the uh feds running in and out of his home you know he was really um they was really trying to crack down on him so let's check this out right youtuber uh, was sentenced to five and a half years ordered to forfeit 30 million in large cable piracy case um bill omar carsquillo amassed a 30 million fortune selling access to cable streaming hijack from set top boxes at the price of low as 15 a month the youtuber who built a sizable following with a slickly produced videos flaunting his fleet of vi of luxury and sports cars collection of diamond encrusted bling his spacious home will be forced to give up nearly all of it he was sentenced tuesday to five and a half years of prison for the illegal business that allowed him to amass those trappings of success so omi uh or omar better known as omi and the hellcat pleaded guilty last year to running one of the one of the most brazen and successful tv piracy schemes ever right so that was his big scheme i believe it was you know had something to do with fire sticks so like he made his own fire stick they had all of the tv channels all of the movies you know in his own like you know like a you know how they used to say uh jail broken fire stick so he had his own jail broken fire stick and he was selling it um all over making a big bag right as a part of of his sentencing Tuesday, he was over. He was ordered to forfeit more than thirty million in assets, including nearly six million in cash, cars, including Lamborghinis, Porsches, Bentleys, and McLarens, and a portfolio of more than a dozen properties he amassed across Philadelphia and its suburbs. Thirty million is a lot of money, but tangible objects aren't everything. U.S. District. Judge Harvey Arado the third said in announcing the punishment during a hearing in federal court. You have a large following and there may be people who think that you could get away with it. They might think they can get away with it, too. Um, Omi apologized to the family, his employees and the cable companies. He cheated through his business, which illegally sold content hijacked from cable boxes to thousands of online subscribers paying as low as 15 a month i really didn't know the significance of this crime until i was picked up by the fbi at my home i feel like i let everybody down but while prosecutors describe omi's crimes which included counsel conspiracy copyright infringement fraud money laundering and tax evasion as serious as uh, much of Tuesday hearing focused on uh, Omi's remarkable rag to riches story. A product of North Philadelphia, he was raised as one of 38 children. His mother was deported and died of an overdose when he was a child. His father dealt with drugs and trained Omi at the age of 12 to cook crack cocaine. He ping pong between relatives' homes and foster care, including one caretaker. <coughs> with one caretaker who intentionally had him commit committed to a mental health facility to, for access to prescription narcotics he can later sell on the street. He spent much of his teenage years and early twenties in and out of prison for drug and other offenses still his attorney dante mills told the judge once omi swore off that life he without high school diploma 
and little financial support was able to build a multi-million dollar business based on what he uh based on what at the time was considering cutting edge technology in the entertainment field the company launched in 2016 and known at various points of names like gears tv and gears reloaded was a leader among its so-called illicit um streaming devices a billion dollar a year industry in the united states it provided customers sub subscribers hundreds of on-demand movies and television shows as well as access to dozens of live cable and pay-per-view events at cutting rate prices all of it stolen from legitimate sources like comcast verizon and direct tv the service provided wild success attracting more than 100,000 subscribers and amassing more than 34 million in revenue by the time the federal investigation shut it down in 2019. There's something to be said for someone who had a chance but made one of made one for themselves. Someone who never had a chance but made one for themselves and who did everything in their power not to be the person they was expected to be. Mill said that's Omar. Despite his guilty plea, um, Omar or Omi and his lawyer both suggested that various points during Tuesday's proceeding that Gears TV had at least initially operated within a legal gray area. Congress moved last year to more clear to clearly define the type of business Omi ran as illegal and Omi and videos posted to his subscribers that he legally paid for the subscription um, services whose content he's accused of pirating. So to me, it sounds like, you know, he bought, uh, you know, he bought, you know, the service. And through the device, he was able to clone the, the live footage, you know, he was able to clone from a, a source that he's paid for and was able to. Um, you know, kind of like live stream it out to other people, uh, which is um, I, I believe that that is infringing on copywriting. Right. You're selling copyrighted material in one post under the title. The FBI seized everything from me. He likened what he did to inviting friends who didn't have cable over to your home and taking a collection for the pay-per-view event right um you know so basically he's admitting to copyright theft you know right there i'm only guilty of making money he said in the video i ain't guilty of nothing else prosecutors beg to differ this was illegal the entire time said jason and a senior attorney in the judge uh justice department computer crime and intellectual property section he said that omi made more money from his operation than virtually every other copyright defendant i've ever seen so man you know even though omi was doing a bad thing he was the best to do it one inspired ironically by the tv show produced by disney a company whose content he had been accused of stealing he described viewing a behind the scenes documentary on pixar and the work of thousands of employees that goes into making each of his animated films. Thinking about those workers and the millions it costs their employees to produce even half an hour show on television, he said he realized that he had not committed a victimless crime. He did not fight prosecutors' request to, play to pay nearly $11 million in restitution to the cable companies and additionally 5.7 million to the irs for unpaid taxes so he was also getting in trouble with the tax man so you know a lot of people was in like in this scheme and he swore that once released from prison he was intended to focus on his family and legitimate vic uh, ventures like his youtube channel and online marketing business as today's hearing included he paused to adjust the judge this sentence he said saved my life so you know let me know what y'all think about this omi got 5.5 years and when he said he coming out he's gonna come out and really try to turn up on youtube and do things the legit way 
Um, you know, I think Omi, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, I think he I'm happy with what happened with him. I think he's satisfied with what happened. He got 5.5 years and you know, you never know, you know, he probably got a couple million stashed away. Um, you know, for uh when he comes when he comes back out. Um uh, I'm surprised, you know, he also did with the shoe the uh, Nike, I believe was also suing him for the shoes. So, um, you know, I think Omi was just one of those people. He was, he did, was ready to do anything to get out of his situation. And he used these, you know, clone, you know, the best thing to do, uh, the best business to start is something that's already working. So he just hopped on was already working. He had a Nike shoe that already, you know, he had a shoe that looked like the Nike shoes and looked like Jordan's. He had a streaming service that was like a you know a discounted a uh, roku a discounted you know every but everything packaged in you know like a jailbroken fire stick right i think he's going to get out before then before the five years so all in all you know i think Omi's going to come back stronger than ever so let me know what y'all think about this in the comment box and we out